In this video, we're going to cover how to run reports of inventory totals on the Conair True Blend Series SB2 Blender. This is the touchscreen that comes with the blender. I have it hooked to this touchscreen behind me over this Ethernet cable. And for simplicity and training purposes, we'll set this aside and work from the larger screen. This is the home screen for the SB2 Blender. Uh, and to get to the totals reporting feature, you can press the totals button or you can press the more button and move from the home screen and select reports from more. But since we're talking about the totals, we'll press it here. In prior videos, we have a, a little training video on inventory totals. So it would be beneficial to review that where we explained all of this particular page. But if we wanted to run a report on totals, you can see we have the report button here at the bottom. So if we press report, it brings up the report screen for the totals. And we have uh, four different methods for creating reports. Um, the first one is on demand, which allows us to generate a report immediately. The second one is to schedule a report. The third one is to log data about the batch blender to a destination, such as a compact flash card located in the blender or a USB thumb drive that you can plug into the blender. And uh, the fourth method is to create reports out to a software package called TrueBlend Reports, created by Conair. So we'll cover these. The first one is on demand. The operator simply presses on demand and it brings up this screen, indicating that it's an on-demand report. And you have some things to sort of fill out here. It depends on the type of report that you want, the style of the report, the destination that you'd like the report to go to, as well as the name of the file that you'd like to create. Each of these are at a default position. So let's say on select report, the default is the alarm log. We're talking about total, so let's select the inventory report. So we've selected this is the report type we want. The style, we have two choices. We have a formatted report. We also have a comma separated data file. The formatted report looks pretty. There's not much you have to do to it. It comes out nice and neat and you can print it out. It's all very easy to read. The comma separated file is for users that would like to output the data and then later import the file into a spreadsheet program such as Excel. So we'll select formatted report. The destination is where you'd like the inventory report in a formatted format to go. So in this particular default, it is the compact flashcard that's located in the top of the TrueBlend SB2 touchscreen. The other choices there are the USB ports, one and two, located on the touchscreen, beneath the touchscreen as well as an Ethernet connection with a protocol called Telnet. Telnet is an industrial uh, trademark name that is a common protocol used with hyperterminal, uh, other uh, software programs, uh, freeware such as uh, TerraTerm. These are both uh, software packages that allow you to establish a Telnet connection, which is the protocol, back to the touchscreen. So we'll select Compact Flash in this case. The name of the report, the default is total underscore shift dot text. If you wanted to change that, you would simply type it and then change whatever the value you want to be and it would give you a different name. So you could name it something different, you know, line one, hour one, or whatever you would like. And uh, so you could edit it using that page. So we have the report we'd want the style we want and the destination as well as uh, the name. Um, the operator at this point would just simply press run report and it would write the report out to uh, the compact flashcard. Now since the compact flashcard is the destination in this example, it would require that the user be able to get that off of the compact flashcard using an ethernet connection with what's referred to as a file transfer protocol program or an FTP connection. Uh, there's a program called FileZilla uh, that is free that establishes an FTP connection to 
the SB2 touchscreen, and once you establish that connection, you can see this file name on the compact flashcard. And the user would simply use their PC with this uh, connection to pull the file off of the uh, compact flashcard of the blender and move it over to the hard drive of the computer. If you selected a USB connection or destination, you'd simply plug the USB thumb drive into the bottom of the touchscreen for the blender, run the report, and then remove the thumb drive and take it to a PC and copy it off of the thumb drive. And that's true of either the USB 1 or the USB 2 port 2 on the, on the touchscreen. The last one, Telnet, uh, again, requires that a, a connection be made and left in place so that every time this report is, is generated, it just simply writes the report out to the PC uh, with the hyperterminal or the, or the Telnet protocol. So next we'll do the uh, schedule type of report where we want to uh, schedule the start time and how often we'd like a report to come out of the system as opposed to uh, getting a, a report immediately on demand which we already covered. So we press the schedule button for the reports and uh, on this particular page the, the report type that has been selected is, is the alarm log and that it would be a formatted report. It would go to the compact flash and it would have this name unless we go to setup and choose something different. So we could do that. We could go to setup here and uh, choose a different destination, you know, which we covered earlier when we talked about the on-demand. So this part of the, the setup is the same. So we'll return to schedule here and uh, we tell it yes, that we'd like to do that. We definitely want to schedule one. The report start time in this particular case is set to midnight. If you wanted that to be uh, 1 p.m., for instance, then you would set that to 1300 hours. It's based on a 24-hour clock. And you want this alarm report to occur on an interval of every hour, which again, you could change to whatever interval you'd like. You would save that, and the next time you reach uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it will print an alarm report out to the destination, in this case the compact flash drive or the USB, wherever you defined, and it would do that every single hour. Okay. So let's return to schedule report, and uh, we set up the alarm report. Let's go and set up a different type of report. You could do the active alarms, and it actually works the exact same way that we just covered, as does the current status report. The shift in inventory, the shift report works a little bit different because it's based on a shift time. Okay, so let's select the shift report. We'll leave that we wanted it to be formatted, and we'll have it go to the compact flash, and we'll schedule it also since we're talking about scheduling. Okay, this particular uh, type of report, since it's shift base, it requires that your shift times be configured in the Blender touchscreen, and the way you navigate to that is under the setup menu, and then you under under the panel, and under date, you can schedule uh, shift times in there up to three different shifts. So in that particular uh, menu, you set up uh, the, the the shift. Uh, begin time and then the duration of that particular shift. So if you have, for instance, uh, uh, three eight, eight hour shifts, then you would give it the start time for each shift and, and tell it that the duration is eight hours. You may have a factory where you have uh, a shorter shift that's a third shift or a shift that overlaps into an additional day. Uh, so that's why we allow up to three different shift times to be defined. Okay. If you do not navigate to the screen and set those up, the default is that the shift is 24 hours long. Okay, so the shift total would begin at midnight and it would print a report every 24 hours. That's the default. So if you want to change those shift times, you must navigate to the screen and do that. So if we set it up and under this particular screen, the three shifts, 
you simply come into this uh, uh, schedule part uh, for the inventory, the shift inventory, you tell it yes and you save it. Now the system is set up to, to create a report for every shift that you've done. Turning to schedule, if we were to go into setup again and choose anything other than this shift report, for instance a total inventory report or any of these others, so we'll choose this one, go back to schedule. This one allows us a start and stop time like the other reports. It's not shift based, it's simply an inventory report since the last time the totals were cleared. Okay. So that's scheduled reporting. The next way of uh, reporting totals is by logging. Uh, the system allows us to log uh, batch information, recipe total information, and the inventory totals uh, to any one of these destinations. Okay, The compact flash on the system or a USB port. And you simply just turn these off or on. Uh, turning this one on, what it's going to do is every single batch that's created on the blender will be reported out to the compact flash drive every time a batch is made. And that data would include the batch total and each of the component totals so that you can see the percentages and the number of pounds or grams that are dosed out in the batches that you're running. Uh, so that's a batch report and it would do every single batch. The recipe would put out uh, the recipe totals for uh, the particular recipe that you're running. The totals would be the inventory totals and you could select how often you want that data to go out to your destination, being a compact flash card or USB or whatever you chose. And once you have this set up, you push the save button and it'll log forevermore. Okay, So you click save and it'll start to do that to whatever the destination was done. So that's logging. The last uh, system is called TrueBun Reports. This is a uh, software package that allows you to connect to your touchscreen back to a PC using uh, Conair's software package called TrueBlend Reports. We have a manual for that particular piece of software uh, and we have another video that we're, we'll do to explain how to set that up with your PC. But on the touchscreen itself, once you have your PC set up with the TrueBlend Reports, this is where you come in and tell it what you want to go out onto TrueBlend reports. The shift in inventory, maybe a batch report, the alarms, recipe reports, and then the start time and the interval that you want this stuff to occur. Uh, and you can even change the name of the unit. So if this is blender number one on line one or blender number two on line three or whatever, then you can, you can edit that as well. Uh, so that's TrueBlend reports again. For setting up TrueBlend Reports, please refer to our other videos for installation of Conair's TrueBlend Reports software on a PC.